Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan 1003 here and as you can see I'm here with this super awesome Spongebob book and this one is called Vote for Spongebob and I actually just got this book a couple weeks ago for my birthday and I think it's really really super awesome. I really really love this book and you will know that on Tuesday next week is the presidential election and um yeah, I think it's actually a perfect time to review this book since it's called Vote for Spongebob and it's about voting and stuff. So, <laughs> so as you can see on the front cover, there's um, a little poster right here of Spongebob right here and it says Vote for Spongebob. And he's wearing like a little badge right here that says Vote Sponge and there's some like cool um, sea stars right here and um, yeah, this book is actually number 17, which is perfect because I just turned 17 years old. <laughs> and um, here's the spine. And here's the back. So this one was made by Erica Pass, I guess, and illustrated by Harry Moore. And right here are some other SpongeBob books you can get. And yeah, right here is the description and stuff. Okay, so let's get started looking at the pages that are in this book. Okay, so um, yeah, right here says vote for Spongebob and then there's Spongebob and Patrick making like some little pins and some stickers and Patrick's painting on a little poster there. And this book was made in 2008, right there. Okay, so, okay, so, um, it's a very, very busy day at the Krusty Krab and... Yeah, Spongebob's working in the kitchen at the Krusty Krab, and Squidward's working at the cash register, and Mr. Krabs is in his office with a, bu with a bunch of money and stuff, of course, because Mr. Krabs adores money. And, um, yeah, Mr. Krabs decides to check on the customers and see how their meals are, and he sees a, a lady with her little boy, and, oh my gosh, her little boy looks so goofy and weird. <laughs> And yeah, he has like a little crown and stuff, and yeah, he wears that crown everywhere, and yeah, Mr. Krabs actually decides to have a little bit of a, an election for the Krusty Krab and stuff, and they're actually going to have a royal, a royal Krabby, so... And obviously you get to vote for either Squidward or Spongebob. I would vote for Spongebob. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so they're going to hang up a lot of posters and stuff, so people will vote for them. But Squidward doesn't like this idea, so... And Spongebob and, Squ and Squidward are shaking each other's hands there. And then Spongebob goes to Patrick's house to tell him about the new um, Royal Krabby election. So, um, they make some little pins and some stickers, and they paint posters and stuff, and they hang up the posters all over town, and there's some balloons and stuff, and some, like, little banners here, too. And, yeah, Patrick even, like, wraps Squidward with, uh, like, a Vote for Spongebob poster. And now they're, um... Like, there's a bunch of posters and stuff at the Krusty Krab, and there's, like, little pins and balloons there as well. And, yeah, Spongebob and Patrick even stopped by some people's houses to get them to vote for Spongebob to be the Royal Krabby as well. And, um, yeah, he even, like, tells Patrick to get into an uh, airplane and, like, put the vote for Spongebob thing up into the sky. And, and like, he's babysitting some babies. He's, like, announcing things right there and then putting up some stop signs. And, yeah, there's a lot of, I guess, chaos going out at the Krusty Krab. Like, there's Squidward and there's Mr. Krabs and stuff. And there's a bunch of fish and stuff with their votes, I guess. And the winner of the election is Spongebob. So yeah, little Spongebob actually wins the election. And yep, he's a royal crabby of the Krusty Krab. And I guess Mr. Krabs gives him a new spatula. And um, 
yeah it's really really awesome and yeah spongebob is working really hard at the crusty crab now and <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Krabs tells Squidward next time he has a brilliant idea, tell him to keep his mouth shut, which I think is really funny. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's a new video game advertisement right here, I guess, even though this is really old here. Yeah, it's called Atlantis Square Pantis. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much all for Vote for SpongeBob. I really, really super love this book. It's actually really, really good. Um... I really, really love like the cool like posters and the balloons that SpongeBob and Patrick make for Bikini Bottom and stuff. It's really, really cool. And yeah, my favorite part of the book probably has to be when SpongeBob wins the election. I think it's really, really awesome. I mean, I knew I knew SpongeBob was going to win. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this book. So yeah, goodbye everybody. Have a great day and peace out.